Hello, Master Tron Tamer here. Um, in this video, we're going to learn about null nodes. And even better, we're going to learn about null nodes through experimentation. So I think you'll find this interesting to kind of know exactly how they work. Um, you're probably aware there's a lot of confusion out there about how they work and how you program around them and so forth. So why not do an experiment so we can see how they work? So we're going to start with this string, which is a hundred nodes long. I have configured it in my controller as such. I've configured it that it is 100 nodes right here. I don't have any null nodes in it yet, so I haven't done anything over here. So let's turn them on just to confirm that they work the way that we think they should. So I'm sending this red test pattern now, which has got this cool flash effect that goes through it. And you can see that they're lighting. Specifically, I want to point your attention. These are the last three on the string. And they're lighting. Everything is working great. So let's turn them off. And let's insert um, a null node into our formula here. So the first one I'm going to use is a homebrew one. So you can actually take any um, regular node and use it as a null node. If particularly if you don't have any, this will will do the job. I've just put ends on it to make it easier to connect. So let's insert that into the string so that we can see what happens. Okay, and I'm going to put this over here where you can see it. And let's send that same test pattern again. So, now this node is on, but notice what happened to the last node on the string. It's no longer lighting. And this is because this has been configured that there is a hundred nodes on this on this string, and we've got 101. This, although it could function great as a null node, and we could go 10, 20 meters further this way, it does take up an address, and it is the first one. Let's see what happens if we go back into our configuration and tell it that there is one null node on this line. So it's turned it off and it's turned on this one. Effectively what's happening now is that we have a string it's got this cool flash effect. We've got this string that's 101 now but because at the controller level we've told it that this is a null node, it's able to manage that. It's still the first node in the string. It's simply sending three off signals to this instead of the signal to light it as red. So it's not turning on and it's done the math internally in the controller and it knows that although we've configured it as a hundred, there's actually a hundred and one. We could now go into whatever software program we're using and just tell it it's a hundred because the controller has taken care of it. Now we could also do this in software and that's a matter of preference. I like to do it in the controller because um, then it makes the software configuration simpler, but that's a preference idea. But I want you to see how this works. Now we're going to turn this off and I actually have 
some dedicated null nodes that I got from Ray Wu. So these are regular ones you would order from him. Let's see if they work any different. The connectors are good and tight, and that's not a problem. That's a good thing. All right, and I'll put this one where you can see it too. I'm going to start by telling it that there are um, no null nodes, just so we can see what happens, and light them up. So we see the exact same results that we got with our homebrew one. The last one is not lighting. Um, and there is no LED there. That's the only real difference with the ones you get these from Ray Wu. And in fact, I confirmed this with him. These are exactly the same circuit board. The only difference is they haven't put an LED on them. As far as the controller is concerned, it's still sending in this case um, three off signals to it. So I mean, no, wait, in this case, it's sending the red on is what it's sending. But because there's no LED, um, we don't get any output. All right, let's fix it. See if it fixes the same way it did with our homebrew one. Sure enough, if we tell it we have a single null node, our flash is working. And all of these are now lighting. So again, I just wanted to do it right in front of you so you could see there really is no difference. They work just like a regular node. The only thing that's different is there's no LED. So let's go back to telling it we have um, no pixels. And, I mean, no null pixels. And let's turn it off again. There we go. And I actually have um, more than one of these. So let's go ahead and see what happens if we put two of these in. I'm hopeful that everybody has already predicted what's how this is going to work. But you think about that while I'm hooking it up. So now I have two null nodes ahead of the string. And let's put our pattern back on. So I hope this is what you all predicted. These two no longer light. Because the first two addresses are being taken up now. Then um, let's see if it fixes the way that we think. I can hear a couple of you mumbling under your breath. Put a two in there. So let's do that. We put a two in there. And sure enough, those ones light up. And again, we could tell our software that we have a hundred node string. And that would work. And the controller is going to take care of the nulling for us. Well, seeing how we actually have a total of three that we could put in here, let's go ahead and configure that. What's nice about um, this one is it's a little easier to see the causal effect. So let's plug it in. goes and and I'll put this one and there's the other two but I'll put this one where you can see it and let's turn on the pattern and like I think most of you figured all three of these are out now 
and we can see that this one's being sent an on signal and so are the other two they just don't have LEDs all right let's fix it the way that we think we'll fix it okay this one has extinguished and we've got these three back on well I hope this has been helpful to you um, to kind of understand null nodes a little bit better and how they work and again they're typically used when you need to extend your line um, depending upon the controller you have a distance that you can go from the controller um, of about 10 to 30 meters that's kind of the limit Different controllers have different power outputs. Um, the sand devices that I use, you can actually play with the output resistors. He's made that available as something that you can tweak if you need more output. But like I said, you can count on at least 10 meters and then you may have to experiment to see how far your controller will go. Once you've used one of these null pixels, we typically think you can go 20 to 30 meters before your string of lights. Now, of course, remember, you need to worry about the overall voltage drop across the string. I'm just talking about how long it takes to get the signal out there. So you still might need to insert um, DC power at some point if you're going a long ways away. Okay, um, I really hope that you found this useful. Um, as always, I really appreciate it when you subscribe. It's fantastic, makes my day. Um, you know what makes my day even more is comments. I will answer your comments with any other tips and tricks or if you wanna know, um, I'm happy to help you out there. And yeah, I think that takes care of this one. I'll see you in our next video.